Evolution. Today, humans are producing a record-breaking amount of solid waste. Nearly 254 million tons of waste is produced each year. All this waste may be able to cause an overflow from the landfills. If this happens, cities and other residential areas will become overflowed. However, over the years, these will eventually degrade, producing landfill gases. These gases are carbon dioxide and methane. However, these gases are also known as the main greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are the gases in Earth's atmosphere that help heat up the planet. The increase of these gases contribute to global warming and melting of the ice caps. In a hypothetical statement, if the Earth heats up, the soil may loosen, the ice caps will melt, and over many years, floods on the land will cause caves and canyons to form due to erosion. Over thousands of years, this will force humans to evolve to survive. The world being covered in waste with large canyons and temperatures too hot to allow some species to live, including humans. Humans may not be fit to survive these horrid conditions, so adaptations will be needed if we want to live. Dark caves, hot surfaces, and little food. All of these are not in favor of the humans. However, they are to some animals. The dark caves may let humans develop an echolocation feature. This is already used by some dolphins, bats, and other animals. Even some humans today can use them. If humans in the future could develop this trait, then we would be better suited to surviving caves. However, this may also lead to humans having the loss of the eyes. Because the earth is too hot to allow humans to be out in the sun on the surface, eyes that pick up light may not even be needed. Another adaptation that humans may need to survive is larger ears. Larger ears is an adaptation that elephants and rabbits and some dogs use to survive today. Larger ears help pick up more sounds and to be able to distinguish sounds at longer ranges. On to another sense, smell is a good way to be able to find food and locate needed supplies to be able to live. This is used by mainly animals such as dogs and elephants. A larger nose with more blood vessels will help us be able to detect smells. With the earth heated up to a temperature almost unbearable to humans, the heat will be too much to handle. This can be adapted to with thicker, scaly skin. For this adaptation, we look at snakes, iguanas, and other reptiles. They have thick, rough scales that help them withstand larger amounts of heat and also stay cool when needed. So this was my video on what adaptations I think humans will have during evolution if they wish to survive the aftermath of waste in the year 3000.